couple of days here. So we're going to see this front move out and the rain will end late this afternoon. It has already ended for some of you, although there's still a few spritzes out there. And for some of us, it'll end first thing this evening. Tomorrow, the last day of 2020, and it is going to be a dry day, even with a few peaks of sun. So that's not a bad way to end a pretty rough year. And then as we get into Friday, let's now talk about storm number two. We're going to start the day dry. And then by midday, we see that next batch of, yeah, all the pretty colors Jason was talking about. There are more pretty colors here coming up from the south. And during the afternoon, this stuff will be moving in. And as it moves into the colder air farther north, some of this may develop into a band of snow. Other areas to the south may start as freezing rain. And the one thing with the computer models that is a bit uncertain right now is simply how far north will this area where it changes to rain, how far north will that come up? This particular model here does not bring it that far to the north. It just really just kind of keeps things as snow or ice to the north and rain to the south. So I, I'm going to get new computer model data in this evening. So join me on Local 4 News at 11. We're going to try and break this down farther if the models give us any guidance. But suffice it to say, whatever we have left in here Saturday morning is going to end, and then we should be dry for the day on Saturday. So overnight tonight, 26 the overnight low, and that's important. We're going well below freezing. Keep in mind, even though main roads, they've been salted, so they'll stay wet. But the side streets were a sloppy mess today. Watch out for ice. Untreated surfaces are going to be really icy tomorrow morning. During the day tomorrow, we're going to get up to about 34 degrees with, again, clouds, but some breaks of sun, light wind from the west. And then there you see we go up to near 40 degrees Friday and Saturday, and then we're just going to stay around that 39, 40 degree range well into next week. Keep in mind, average high right now is in the low to mid 30s. So we're living large with these temperatures, uh, Jason. All right. Well, we will be back to check on that new computer model data, Paul. Yes. So don't, don't try and get out of that. We're going to remember <laughs> that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir.